What is good with it? People of the Fernando Food Universe, subscribers, and the peoples. I've never done an episode with a top down, but some of you have been like, yo, Fernando, you uh, have a convertible, and for 20 episodes, you've never put it down. What gives, bruh? Well, the reality is, A, it gets really noisy, and I used to not have a microphone, but today, I've had the microphone for about six episodes or so, so I'm feeling like giving you guys a little bit more of what is around me. And the other thing is like it's focal. It lets you concentrate on me and not my surroundings. But today, it's a little too nice to not put the top down for y'all. Alrighty. So, today, I am craving burgers. Burgers. Fernando, how have you not done an episode on burgers? Well, brah, I got you. There's this one spot I've been wanting to try for a while, and it serves two purposes. One, this place is called 101 Burgers um, because it's right on the 101. Um, so it's like this little, uh, it's, a, it's a spot that people like get together for a car meet. Um, so every once in a while, like you see people with like classic cars there. Um, I think one of the Z4, because I drive a Z4 if you didn't know that, um, have meets there sometimes. So it's a cool little like uh, burger shop kind of a thing. So it has some little outdoor dining. For those of you that don't know, California lifted its stay at home restrictions. So people are starting to go eat out again. So I'm kind of excited to try out this spot called 101 Burgers. And um, I'm not quite sure, I'm sure they have different kinds of burgers. So we're gonna ask them what the most popular dishes are. We're gonna give you guys the Fernando Food exclusive uh, review. And then uh, go from there, shall we? We're back in it and oh my goodness. Guys, the amount of value that you get at this place is phenomenal. All this food, I got a corn dog, which I haven't had in a really long time, uh, a, a, an order of regular fries, which by the way, there's no small, medium, and large. There's medium, large, and giant. And there'll be B-roll of this. But I got, I got a corn dog, I got some french fries. These onion rings look insanity and a half. They look so freaking good. I got the pastrami burger, which apparently is one of the most popular signature classic 101 burgers and shakes. Um, burgers. <laughs> and then I got a classic, can't go wrong, with, uh, I believe it's the quarter burger, the quarter burger, the quarter burger. Um, all of this was like about 25 bucks or something. And um, yeah, a ton of value. And I got like uh, a Diet Coke if you wanted some of that. Oh my goodness, this is so good. This is uh, the Oreo milkshake. I don't typically order milkshake, but damn. The Oreo milkshake was phenomenal. I guess we can just start there. The Oreo milkshake. So the thing about it is that they have, and they do a really good blend. I believe this was, how much is this? It's like four bucks, four bucks. And it's a ton. I'm not gonna be able to finish this. Keep in mind that I'm lactose sensitive, so it's not like I can drink all this anyway. But um, I love that it's not super chunky. I love that it's really well um, blended. And it's, you can easily drink it through a straw, which you can't say about a lot of other milkshakes. Sometimes they just have like a ton of ice cream in there and like it's like impossible to drink. You know, it's more like an eating, like you need a spoon for it. But hey, to each their own. I really like this one. It's pretty solid for four bucks. You can't really go wrong. The value is there. Let's start with these little, these little French fries. These little French fries. Maybe I need to cleanse the palate a little bit. The French fries are decent. Nothing crazy to write home about, to be honest. I wish they would have added a tiny bit more salt on it, and um, maybe if I would have told them to fry it a little bit longer, like extra crispy would be on point, but these are not overcooked. They're not undercooked either, um, but maybe just a tad bit longer on the fryer would be good, and maybe a little bit more salt. Maybe there's more salt de um, deeper, but usually like when they grab the fries, they, put the, they, they, they mix them together, like um, out, right outside the fryer, so that way everything gets with salt or sometimes some establishments put a salt on the very top. But if that were the case, I'd be eating the very top. Let's try, dude, these onion rings. Let's try these onion rings though. Can I, can I, 
Can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? Let's try these onion rings though, shall we? I'm trying all these raw. Usually I eat them with like a little bit of ketchup or some mustard on them. Did you or did you not hear that crunch? I'll give you one more. Look at it. I'll give you one more. And that one has a little bit more onion on it. If you're coming to Classic 101 Burgers, you're not getting the onion rings, you're doing yourself a disservice. It is phenomenal. It is really good. Obviously it's crunchy as hell. Like you could hear it, so audible, but I don't feel like it's greasy, A. B, it adds to the onion ring. The onion ring isn't overwhelming, obviously. It's not like it, it, it smells raw or anything like that. It, it just, it's just nice, light and crunchy. And um, yeah, it's delightful. It's like, it's like, it's almost like the perfect platform to add other condiments to it. I would argue that it might need a little bit more salt if you wanted it, but with a little bit of ketchup or mustard, it'd be on point. Again, for three, four bucks, hard to beat, to be honest. Man, so meaty. Corn dogs. I haven't had a corn dog probably in seven years. The last time I went to a fair and tried a corn dog. So I'm excited to bring you guys my review on their corn dog. Their corn dog is like 250, I believe, three bucks. So I'm not holding my breath too much, but so far from what I've gotten, the value is pretty good. Usually I obviously drench this in condiments, but we're gonna try it raw and tell you guys the, the truth behind the corn dog here. They've nailed the frying technique for this. It's, and I've said this plenty of times in my show, perfectly crispy on the outside, so buttery and smooth through it. The batter is on point. Um, and obviously the, the hot dog is just cooked to, to perfection. Not overcooked, not undercooked, just right. The bite that you get, oh, and I can sense there's a little bit of um, uh, of butter in the batter, which just makes it that much better. Um, I would definitely add some mustard and it would just take it to the next level. Oh, so good. The quarter burger, the quarter burger, burger, the quarter burger. Oh, look at the, the toasted bun. Mm-hmm. It looks like a no frills burger, some lettuce, some, Ketchup, mustard, some tomato, toasted bun, and a burger. I mean, pretty straightforward sesame bun. Let's do it. For three bucks, a solid burger. Can I go, hold on, was it three dollars? Might be, might be, 450. For 450, this is a solid burger. It's, per it's cooked just right. It's not overly cooked. It gives you a little bit of char on the top. Um, the lettuce gives you that little bit of crunch. The tomato just sits right. If I were to add anything, it would be a little bit of more mustard on it, but otherwise it's on point for 450, can't go wrong. Deliciousness. I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased. I'll take that back. After taking that second bite, this is, for those of you that don't know, I love me some In-N-Out Burger. I love me some Dick's Burgers. If you're ever in Seattle, I love me some Dick's Burgers. This reminds me a lot of Dick's Burgers. And I would argue this is a solid alternative. If you're looking for something around that realm and you want to support a locally owned business, but you want that sort of feel and taste, you can't go wrong with the classic 101 burger. It's, and this is, like I said, this is 450 and it, it's, it's hard to beat, to be honest. It's really good. Like why would I want to go to like one of the other fast food chains or even like Jack in the Box or something like this? this not only does it cost similar, but the quality here is is noticeably better. And you get to support a small locally owned business. Last, but certainly not least, the pastrami burger. The pastrami burger comes with, let's see here. I believe it's Swiss cheese. It comes with mushrooms, jalapenos or jalapenos, however you to pronounce it lettuce some tomato and a solid slab of meat i don't know why they call it the pastrami burger but that's what they call it. oh and onions and grilled onions and a sesame bun so it's like a leveled up quarter burger here we go this burger is 
This burger is $9.80. So it's double the price of the regular burger. I would argue that the regular bur burger, the quarter burger, is what I would expect. It's the level of quality. For $9.50, granted, it's not a ton either, but I mean, that's, you know, teach their own. But what I will say is that the jalapenos, as delicious as they are, they take away too much of the mushrooms and all the other flavors. Like that's the trick, of, that's the thing about like spicy food in general is that like they tend to take away the other components that are in that meal. The same thing happens with bacon. You know, if you order a bacon burger, it's like a meteor bacon sandwich or a meteor bacon like patty you know you don't really taste the meat which is kind of like what i'm missing here i wish the jalapenos kind of weren't there so that way i can, I can enjoy all the different um ingredients that are in it um but i will say it's still damn tasty um i think they have something here i don't think it needs the onion i don't think it needs the grilled onions i also don't think they need the 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 mushrooms i think if they had like maybe avocado um or or just load it up with a little bit more lettuce or tomato or something that'd be all that it needed i don't think it needs uh the mushrooms and the swiss cheese and the, maybe the grilled onions maybe the grilled onions can stay but i don't feel like it needs all the other uh ingredients i think by itself it's just delightful some people like to dip their fries in the milkshake i never understood that i think that's a wendy's thing not hashtag worth not hashtag worth if I were to come here again, which I probably will, but if you were ever in the neighborhood around Classic US 101, Classic 101 burgers and shakes, I would get the quarter burger, or you can get a double burger, I believe, or a triple burger if you're really in the need, in the need for some more protein. Um, get yourself some onion rings, because they're phenomenal. If you're really craving a corn dog, do yourself a favor, get the corn dog. You won't be disappointed. And that's like a solid meal. That's like a solid meat. You, you don't need anything else. Like those are the staples. Apparently the people that do come here, that are, come here on the reg, the regulars, order the regular, the regular burger. Like typically like during the week or something like that, they order the regular burger. And then if people come here during meats and stuff like that, they get some more of the specialty sandwiches. Um, they, they have like a, a number of other ones. Like there's a mushroom burger, the Western burger, the Aloha burger. Um, so yeah, it's just, um, they have a variety of options and uh, you, you take your choosing. I'm sure you can tell them, like these guys are like super friendly. I'm sure you can tell them like exactly what additional items you want on your sandwich or your burger. But, oh man, the jalapenos on that one is really good. But I feel like in that sandwich specifically, it doesn't sit quite right. I, I feel like, it do, like if you were to take the, the jalapenos out, it'd be on point. Okay. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my meal, all right? Let me do me. And that concludes the episode, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode 21. Um, I know during the break, I didn't post any new content, but we're back in it and giving you guys all that delicious content, which if you haven't already subscribed, do yourself a favor. And if you've gotten this far, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. It tells the other people that are watching delicious content to check this channel out, you know, help me grow a little bit. You know, you can't go wrong with that. Um, Again, I have uh, an Instagram, Fernando Food. Go check a, a bunch of delicious content. I sometimes post more pictures on there. Um, and I have a Yelp page as well. Um, follow me there if you haven't done so. And uh, yeah, man, those burgers were on point. The fries, the onion rings, oh. Second to none, amigos. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.